So there's a lot of people out there um, working remotely at the moment, and a few friends of mine have been asking me how to, uh, who work in the video editing industry, um, who've been trying to find ways to work remotely. There is definitely a lot of software out there, but it doesn't seem like anything that allows you to route audio, which is essential for um, video editing. So um, I was able to figure out just because I'm a musician, I use some of the tools of a way to uh, get audio from a remote computer. And um, I thought it would just be beneficial to share with the community. So it's gonna run, uh, run people through this. So um, a couple of things that you'll need, you're gonna need TeamViewer, which I recommended for, uh, it seems like that's what people are using out there for uh, connecting with a remote computer. Um, you're gonna need Loopback, um, which isn't free, but it is what we need to rewrite the audio on the Mac. Um, and then you're also going to need a second uh, remote desktop um, solution uh, and I'm using um, Google Chrome here, but it could really be anything. Uh, and you'll see why we need it down the road. Um, so just to start, you're going to want to have TeamViewer installed on both computers. Um, and you're going to access it uh, just by entering the, compu the remote computer's ID and also have their password on hand. So... Um, if I uh, have my remote computer next to mine, so I can um, connect here and then enter the password that they have set up. So great. So this allows me to um, get into the remote computer and um, what I need next is to actually um, get the audio. So just as a basic setup, um, I'm, I'm going to go to SoundCloud just so I can continually test if the audio is working or not from the remote computer. Um, and I just need a basic track to play to see if I'm getting anything. Uh, so at the moment, if we look in our audio settings, um, and this is why we need our second remote desktop solution, is that you can act, you cannot actually access the audio settings of the remote computer. So um, this is an issue when we're rerouting the audio. So um, you don't need to take care of that at the moment, but what we first want to set up in the remote computer is the... Um, the loopback audio um, setup. So if you already download that software, um, I'm now gonna run to loopback, there it is. And if you look at what I did here, um, whatever software that you need, and I can do a new one as well. So let's just call this, um, Routed audio. So normally, what's the way it's set up is that it's just taking your um, computer's inputs, whatever you have. In most cases, you have a, a microphone, and it's running to your outputs. But if you want a custom source, say you're using Adobe Premiere, or in this case, we want to test out. We see that the audio is coming from Safari. I want to get a custom input from Safari. So. Um, we can add that program that we want to route and count it as an input. So now Safari is basically being counted um, as a uh, as a microphone almost and going into the, um, well, it's also at Chrome because I think I opened it in Chrome. So um, these are basically being counted as microphones inputs in a way. So yeah, with loopback, we basically have that set up at the moment. It's all that we need. Um, and what we want to do now is go to 
our second uh, remote desktop solution so that we can get access to this audio section over here. Um, so if we open up um, something like Chrome, uh, sorry, I'm getting confused between the two, the remote and uh, my own. So we just restart this so it's clear, but um, we're gonna enter the pin. If you go through the Chrome remote desktop, whatever solution you use, um, I'm gonna enter the pin here for that second computer. And now I'm seeing basically the same screen that I'm seeing in TeamViewer. Um, but notice here that these settings, because it's not through TeamViewer, that these settings are actually appearing now. So, um, so now that you can see this, uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is change the audio settings to um, receive that input name routed audio. So if I, I can see in my list of um, audio options, I actually want to be the, the microphone input. So if I can see in my list of audio options what I'm seeing here um, in loopback. So, if you do not see it appearing, uh, you may need to um, restart TeamViewer uh, just so that it pops up in the menu. So I'm gonna pick routed audio, uh, apply, close this, and you'll see that the uh, audio is being routed from our programs through the microphone. So um, if I go back to the local TeamViewer, on my own computer, uh, not the remote. Um, you go to audio video at this top and press start audio. Um, so that's how I, I now have the um, remote computer's audio coming into my uh, local computer. It's the, my own connection, the latency is not that great. Um, it depends on how the speed that you need. Maybe a better internet connection would be a faster latency. But um, this, is the, this is the solution that uh, I was able to come up with. Hope it can help.